The theme of this month of June is uh, Man's After God's Heart, which is the theme our man going to have for the week. Praise the Lord. So they will be very small and get a lot of uh, <laughs> like men. Yes. Mama Susan going to open with prayer, then we enter our Bible study. Mama Susan. We pray. Thank you, God, our Father, for this time. Thank you for this opportunity, God. You gave us the time to study and to learn your word. We ask that the Holy Spirit guides our life. Bless us in the mighty name of, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So welcome again in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So our pastor have already told us the, the theme for the month. And one thing, once again, wanted to welcome everyone and those that um, haven't been able to make it because of um, ill health. We give God thanks for healing their body and bringing them back with us so we can all study together. I love to see when we're all together studying. Believe me, I have notes from everyone that I have thought. Um, I have, you know, I have gained knowledge. Um, even the things that I thought that I knew when another person is going through it. I'm like, oh, I didn't see it that way. Oh, I've seen it that way. And it emphasized what I have known. So it's good um, to have everybody. So welcome, welcome everyone to the month of um, a man after God's heart. I don't want to limit this to just the man, a man after God's heart. I want you also, if you are a woman, to also look at that. Okay, on va pas limiter ça au monsieur un homme après le cœur de Dieu. Si vous êtes une femme, regardez à cela aussi. Amen. Amen. So we will want to, as the pastoral team, we just don't want you to say it as, oh, it's a man's um, thing, is uh, just um, a thing for the man. It also applies for women. Um, when, you, when you look at a man's after God's heart, um, you're looking at also a woman after God's heart. Amen. Something just happened to my computer. Go ahead, Pastor. Ça s'applique aussi à la femme. Quand nous voyons un homme après le cœur de Dieu, ça s'applique aussi à la femme après le cœur de Dieu. Amen. Amen. Um, Pastor, my, um, give me just a minute, okay? Yeah, my sharing ahead. computer, I was wanting to share it. It just um, disappeared, but I'm going to bring it back. Um, for bringing it back, I want us to um, look at, let's begin with this. I know I'm supposed to be typing it, but in this few minutes, let's think about it. When you look at that word, because that's a very powerful, like uh, uh, Pastor Helen will say something is powerful, in the sense that God can say to you or to me, um, C'est très puissant parce que Dieu peut te dire à toi ou à moi. Yeah. I can say to you, a man or a woman after God's heart. You know, um, when we look at that, I want us to look at like, why? Why is, why did that happen? Why did God, um, you know, say that? Okay. On peut se demander pourquoi Dieu a dit que c'est un homme. Peut te dire un homme ou une femme après mon cœur. Pourquoi? Amen. Yeah, think about it, and and, and then when, once the slide is popped open, we can go through um, the line. I go through and see who's here, and you can make your input. It could be one word. It could be two words. Remember how we do it? Why is that? Why did God, a man just like you and I, a man that was born into a family, you know, why why is that? Why did God? Um, Ça peut être deux mots. Pourquoi c'est là? Un homme, une femme qui est née dans une famille que Dieu peut dire, tu es après mon cœur. Amen. Pensez à cela. Think about it. You can write down your answer for now. Amen. Écrivez vos réponses. 
pour, pour ce moment. Anybody? Say something about the, like a deep uh, sense of love. Let me, um, I'm almost there now. Good, good, good. Okay, I can share it now. Praise God. So I can type that answer. So this is where we are. Sorry, let me reiterate. Let me uh, reemphasize or break up. June, month of the night after God's heart. And our anchor scripture is uh, that first Samuel 13, 14. I just, you can read the whole first Samuel 13. And then Art 13, 23. Amen. Je vais récapituler. Le mois de juin, un homme après le cœur de Dieu, 1 Samuel 13, 14. Vous pouvez lire tous les chapitres 13 de Samuel, 1 Samuel. Et Art 13, 23. Amen. Amen. After God's heart. Why? Sister Martin, you can give your answer again. I believe that. Uh, Humble, like King David is always humble. He makes a lot of mistakes, but he's very quick to go to God Amen. and beg for forgiveness. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so Amen. David is very humble. Amen. Humble. And Tikines Martin says something before. Uh, yes, it's more like a, a sincerity to be like truthful. You said, I heard something about love. Did you say you love? Said it you say a deep, deep sense of love. Yeah. Deep sense of love. Uh -huh. And also like sincerity of heart. Okay. Deep sense. Of love and sincerity. Oh. Sincerity of heart. Une sens profond d'amour et la sincérité de cœur. Ça se dit que Martin Sœur Gloria, l'humilité. Anyone else? We have a full house. Quelqu'un d'autre? I didn't use it. <laughs> I would say faithful. Faithful. Anybody else? Uh, obedience and faith. Uh, Mama says obedience and faith. Hmm. Powerful answers. All right. So these are good. This is really actually, that's when you, when you look at it, then you see that that's the characteristics of that man. I can add one um, thing. Yes, ma'am. The, the knowledge of God's presence. Mm -hmm. Add one more. Uh, I can right. add one more. Hey, hey, hey. I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> knowledge of God's presence. I'm loving it. Oh, God. Uh, I would add uh, trust. Trust. <laughs> okay. I heard I can, somebody else. Yeah, I can add uh, the the knowledge of God's heartbeat. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh. La connaissance <laughs> des battements de cœur de Dieu. Wow. <laughs> you better get it ready on Wednesday and teach this thing. <laughs> you are part of the teachers, so <laughs> I love that. Let that be your topic. Let that be your topic of your your preaching. The knowledge oh of God. God. Amen. Of God's heartbeat. That is that is your topic actually. This is beautiful. That's gonna be your topic. That's just prophetic. It just Amen. delightful. Amen. It, it, it's gonna take you almost an hour to, to <laughs> expand on that. This is beautiful. This is another evangelist in the making too. Yes. Amen. All these answers are blowing my mind. Actually, all of them. Amen. When you look at this, the knowledge, I hope you guys are taking notes. 
Je peux vous prendre la note. Ces réponses sont en train de vraiment m'encourager. This is actually one of the topics that I love so much. If you know, I see myself as a human being. I see myself as a pastor. I see myself as a believer. I see myself as one that God has purchased by His blood. I see myself as one that He has redeemed from the cost of law, knowing that I was a sinner and I'm still a sinner, but saved by grace. Right? Knowing all that, to now compare myself to another human being just like you, it could have been Pastor Helen. It could have been Cherry, it could have been Kenneth Martin or a sister Gloria. It could be one of us. And God is looking at that person. And might still look tomorrow at a person because yes, there's those that God said, I've loved you. And they will tell them, I love you. God should, you know, God have this right, this sovereignty to love me even more than you. He has it. Amen. He has that. He loves all of us, but he could come to a man and say, oh my goodness, this man, is a man after my heart. Then I'm asking myself, what could I do that I could be called that? It's yes. for all of us as believers, like a wake up call. I want to be like David. I want to be in that position where God can look down on me and say, did you see Pastor Antonia? She is a woman after my heart. Go ahead. Uh, C'est un thème que j'aime beaucoup. Je me rappelle ce que Dieu a fait pour moi, il est mort pour moi, il m'a racheté. Dieu est souverain, il nous aime tous, mais peut nous aimer quelqu'un plus que moi. C'est son droit. Je me demande, qu est-ce que, est que je peux devenir comme David? Comme Dieu a dit à David, tu amènes après mon cœur. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire? Qu'est-ce qu'il faut que je sois à cette place? Amen. Amen. And look at these answers that you guys received that. Uh, uh, gave gave here humble and this sense of love and love for who love for god and man right i want to believe that that's what that is this sense of love and sincerity being sincere amen sans amour pour l'homme pour dieu et sincérité de cœur faithful being faithful not, you know, every, uh, God, not every man and woman God has, like we just said, every man that God has brought out of darkness and washed with blood is faithful. Mm. They are there, but they're not faithful to the call. Mm. They are there, not faithful believers. They are just believers. They have been saved and that's it. They are not faithful in the calling that God has called them. Um, but you guys are looking at this, yes. David loves this God so much, more than anything else. And we will see it. We will explore it as we go. And he just don't love God and just, he loves it with a sincere heart. Amen. Amen. Fidèle, beaucoup sont été rachetés. Mais c'est pas tous les hommes et femmes rachetés qui sont fidèles. David a aimé Dieu de tout son cœur. Amen. Obedience and faithful, and, and faith, obedience and faith. That's another trait, another character that you can see in David. Yes, we're going to explore that. And all these are scriptural. All these, you guys took it right out of our Bible when you look at the characters of David. And we're looking at him after God's heart. Why? And these are the whys. Obéissance et la foi. Tous ces caractères sont bibliques. Vous avez tiré de cela de la Bible. Quand nous allons parler de cela, nous allons voir comment il était obéissant. Amen. Knowledge of God's presence. That's another critical one. How can you know the knowledge of God's presence other than by staying and loving his word? Be addicted to his word. Amen. You know, that's how you get to know the knowledge of his. Well, I'm going to let Pastor expand on that. Hallelujah. That's one of it, actually. And there's many reasons that he had that knowledge of God's presence. Amen. Comment est-ce qu'on connaît que vous avez la connaissance de la présence de Dieu? C'est en aimant sa parole, en devenant addictive à sa parole, à être étudier sa parole. Amen. Amen. Pastor, could you add to that um, Amen. the knowledge of God's presence? Uh, yes. When we look at the life of King David, 
every time he will realize that he has to run to God. God is his shelter. God is his hiding place. God is his solution. So it's all, all about the heart of David. That I just yield to God and I just like yearning God want to be yes. close to God. Yes. Yes. C'est le cœur de David qui veut être près de Dieu, qui pleure à Dieu, qui sait que Dieu est la solution, qui veut courir à Dieu à tout moment. Even when David sinned, even when Nathan came and reminded him, David went and cried out to God. Like he said, uh, Gloria said, even he sins, he will go and confess to God. Comme la Sainte Gloria dit, même s'il pêche, il va confesser à Dieu. So really, David had the knowledge of God. We David have the connaissance of Dieu. That's why he said, your word have a hidden in my heart, so I will not sin against Amen. you. C'est pour ça que David dit, j'ai caché ta parole dans mon cœur, ainsi je ne veux pas pécher. Amen. 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 And the trust in God. Hallelujah. And he trusted the Lord. Because when a man have the knowledge of God, when you have the knowledge of your best friend, when you have the knowledge of your spouse, your girlfriend, your son, your children, when you know them, you know their capacity, you know what they can do, you know they cannot fail you. What else do you do? You trust them. You Amen. trust in what their actions, you trust in even their inaction. There is a trust and David trusted the Lord. Amen. Amen. La confiance, David a eu la confiance en Dieu. Quand tu connais Dieu, quand tu connais ta femme, tu connais ton époux, tu connais ton ami, qu'est-ce que tu fais comme résultat? Tu vas faire avoir confiance en cette personne. Amen. You know, like what she, what Pastor just said, uh, reiterating what um, um, her sister had, um, Gloria. You know, even when things around him looks bleak, um, you know, not good when it looks hopeless and will cause him to throw the towel and cause him to like, you know what, I'm not doing this no more or trust in other God. That's when David himself will like, okay, I am trusting this man that have taken me out of this before. So that trust was there. And I believe that was why God looked through all these traits. You know, when we talk about a man after God's heart, we will see it wasn't, that David was a perfect man. No, far from it. David was not a perfect man. But yet, we're going to get there. So I want you to remember yeah. that. Don't think, oh, we are looking at men or we are looking at women that are perfect. No, that's not what we are looking for. And that's not what God, God is never looking for a perfect man. God is yeah. looking for a man that the heart is what? Available to him that he will begin yeah. to he will begin the perfection process. Nous ne, cherchons, amen. Nous ne cherchons pas pour une femme parfaite, un homme parfait, car David n'était pas parfait du tout. Mais Dieu ne regarde pas, ne cherche pas pour quelqu'un qui est parfait. Dieu regarde pour un cœur qui est disponible. Amen. Amen. So there's no woman that is perfect. There's no man that is perfect. And God is not looking for a woman or a man that is perfect. Amen. Amen. So the same question that I asked why, um, this is me writing a few, um, and I did put that humble. He Amen. was humble to serve God and to serve men. Amen. 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 So that was the first answer that uh, our sister gave, and it's the same that I have here that I wanted to talk about, about his character or, you know, his traits and who he is as a man. Um, D David was a man that was really humble. And let mm -hmm. me tell you also, the angle that I looked at it, the angle that our sister looked at it is, yes, it's part of it. Um, it's all in there, congruent in it. When you look at David, I want us to extract ourselves through the eyes of this man. Uh, David was born into a family that have boys, you know? And the Bible said that David was beautiful, handsome, you know? And among all his brethren, he was the most handsome. He was tall, he was, you know, his body, his hair and everything. But there's something 
about him. He was the most humble and down to earth. I want to believe that the father as a, a shepherd have all these sheep and it has to do in the, it has to do with going into the bush. It has to do with a smell, how to do with your body not being um, you know crispy, clean all the time, um, which you know some of the, his brethren does not want to do and some were doing it. but he was the only one that was humble enough to commit and be faithful to it. Now, do you see where the commitment and the faithfulness comes in? And it, the Bible said that that's where he goes every day. Without humility, you cannot serve. Amen. David était beau. On nous dit dans la Bible qu'il était un des plus beaux de ses frères. Il était grand, ses cheveux. Mais c'était lui aussi qui, était, qui allait prendre soin des brebis. Comme un berger, tu ne regardes pas ta beauté, tu vas dans des places sales, tu ne regardes pas comme tu es. C'était le plus humble et celui qui était plus dédié pour aller tous les jours prendre soin des brebis. Amen. Amen. And what, what is that showing us? That place of service. Mm. In the field. Where are we today as believers? We are supposed to be in a field. And I want to bring it to you that church is also a field. So in that place of humility, of being humble, I want you to see yourself. When you come in that field, it's a dirty place. Do you know that church is also a clinic? And clinic is not. That's where all type of diseases comes. Here you see blood, where you see the purse. You know, when somebody have a boy, you're pressing it, it's dashing out and, you know, and where you also will smell just like those goats and those animals will be smelling. It's not a comfortable place, but it's a place of service. And that means that when we come as that woman after God's heart, you could be a bank manager, you could be a doctor somewhere, but once you come to church or where once you come in that bank manager office, because you have a call as a believer, you will have to bring yourself low. You know that, oh, I am bigger than this. I am maybe, as, uh, let me give you an example. You are a president and you become a member of Holy Care. A president is someone that everyone in the nation honors. But when you come to the house of God, you might have this, I tell people, when you come to church, ask the Holy Spirit, where are you leading me to serve? The Holy Spirit or the pastors might see that you have a gift and your gift might begin cleaning the bathroom on Saturday. When you begin to do that, you are humbling yourself and not the pastor is saying it, it's God. God is seeing and God is watching. So being humble doesn't mean, oh, I come to church. Okay, let me, no, you come to a place of vulnerability and that's where this man found himself in a field where it's smelling, where nobody cares to be at, where clothes are dirtied up, that's your place of service. Go ahead. Man. Uh, place de service, qui est un champ. David allait prendre soin des brebis dans les champs. L'église aussi un champ. C'est une place qui peut être sale. C'est comme un clinique. Où vous voyez du sang, vous voyez des puits, où il y a euh, l'odeur, comme David était entouré des animaux et avec des odeurs. Place de service. Quand vous venez à l'église, vous devez vous humilier et demander au Saint-Esprit où est-ce que vous voulez que je commence pour aider. Un président peut être membre de Wally Care. Quand il vient à Wally Care, il doit s'humilier. Ici, nous voyons le dédiement de David et l'humilité de David. Où est-ce que vous, serve, vous servez? Où est votre champ de service? Amen. Amen. Another angle to see it also is David, and at the cost as when we read the scriptures, you will see this is just our day opening. We're gonna have several scriptures to dive in, in and all of us will take turn in you know discerning the scripture and interpreting it. A place of that humility. David was relegated to that place. That means David was not even recognized. 
And sometimes believers want to be recognized in what they were doing. Then the, the, uh, that particular field become, became where David is thrown at, where he is expected. I have seen believers that say, oh, I am doing so, 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 so in church and nobody cares about it. Nobody, you're hmm. not doing it to, for the church, but you're serving men and you're serving God. And let me tell you, the first person that takes record for me that I desire is God. Amen. Parfois, vous êtes dans les champs, il y a d'autres chrétiens qui veulent être reconnus. Quand ils font ça, je fais ça, je fais ça, il y a personne qui prend attention, fait attention à cela. Non, vous n'êtes là, pas là pour que les gens font attention à vous. Vous êtes là pour servir. David était dans les champs, personne ne reconnaissait qu'il était même dans les champs. Mais c'est lui qui prend les records de tout. C'est Dieu et c'est les meilleures personnes pour faire cela. Amen. 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 David was committed, not just humble, day in, day out. Amen. Whether it's raining, whether it's, uh, you know, sunshine, um, not to everybody have their capacity, but uh, permit me to use myself. And that's the testimony. And I pray that that testimony, the Bible says we overcome them by the word, the words of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. So this Amen. night I sprinkled the blood of Jesus over my testimony, testifying that this testimony will continue to bear fruit. It is nothing to boast, but it's something to encourage someone. Amen. I told the Lord, I said, when I have assignment, please give me the grace to fulfill that assignment because The assignment that I'm giving to is not just to serve men, yes, but it's to serve God and God bears record. A woman that I know of, in time when he prays to God, he prays and say, God, you take record, you see it all. Take record of this that I have done. See me, see me, because my record in heaven is greater. My bank account in heaven is greater than my bank account on earth because Amen. I can cash in divine health. I can cash in prosperity. I can cash in Amen. favor that money cannot give me. There are things that money cannot buy. So I pray that prayer. When we have the women's event, Pastor Helen knew I was really sick, but none of you knew. The Amen. night before, I couldn't get up. Amen. The morning of that day, I could not. There is no way I could drive to Holy Kid. I begged my brother. I said, I have an assignment and I have to go fulfill that assignment. Now, if you don't let me go, it's on you. I said, but I have to go. Amen. And I, I, I tell Pastor Helen, I said, Pastor, I'm not feeling well, but I will still come because I have an assignment to do. Amen. And I came. I wasn't my 100%, but at least I was good that no one Except God and Pastor Helen knew that I was really sick. So Amen. what is that? That is commitment. Amen. I am committed to this. God, whether it's raining, whether it's sunshine, I want to do what you have given. I don't want to drop the ball that you have given Amen. to me. Amen. Amen. Pastor, go ahead. David était très dédié. Dédié tous les jours. Qu'il neige, qu'il pleuve, qu'il se fait beau. Il était là au champ pour le service. Je ne me vante pas, mais je demandais à Dieu, « Seigneur, si tu me donnes un assignment, comme un devoir, s'il te plaît, donne-moi donne la grâce de terminer ce que tu m'as donné pour faire. » Parce que c'est toi qui prends les records de toutes choses. Les hommes ne peuvent pas me payer. Quand je suis en train de faire ton service dans ton champ, Seigneur, je peux avoir la santé divine, la prospérité, car c'est toi qui gardes les records. Le jour de Mother's Day, la euh, célébration là au Liké, j'étais malade, c'est mon passé, vous savez. Je me suis mal dormi, je me suis réveillé malade, mais j'ai dit à mon frère que je dois partir, car je euh, dois être là. C'est pour ça qu'il m'a conduit et je suis venu. Je ne me vante pas, mais la Bible nous dit que nous sommes vainqueurs par le sang de l'agneau. Et les paroles de notre témoignage. Et mon témoignage, je le couvre avec le sang de l'agneau. Amen. 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 I, want to, I want to bring it to you guys that I drove myself home. Can you imagine that? 
because I am committed to what God has and God saw my heart. And by the time I left Holy Care, I'm the one that drove home. Amen. 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 I could have been laying on my bed. Amen. I could have been covering because that's what I was doing on that weekend. I was laying on my bed and covering my blanket. But I said, God, if I can take this action, if I can step out, do the rest. Amen. So now, do you think that Pastor Helen can pay me enough in that pastoral team? No. no. She could not. That thing. Amen. Do you think that God will see that and record it for me? Oh, yes. 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 Amen. yes. Now, Amen. I'm not telling you that we are all in the same capacity. It took growing. So that's why Bible study is good. It, takes, it took me to grow to this point. And that's Amen. why it's good to come to Bible study so we can learn and hear stories like this and begin to grow our faith. Amen. 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 And being committed to God is, God, I don't want any excuse, please. If you allow me to have this assignment and this to do, empower me to do it. Then you can see that baby step. God will gradually, you know, begin to graduate you. I'm not telling you that I'm where I'm supposed to be. But I'm telling you that I'm not where I used to be. Amen? Amen. 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 Je vous dis pas que je suis où je dois être, mais je ne suis plus où j'étais. Ce jour-là, après le service à Holy Care, c'est moi qui a conduit à la maison. Pourquoi? Parce que Dieu m'a donné la force. Est-ce que vous croyez que Pasteur Hélène peut me payer assez? Non. C'est Dieu qui nous paye. C'est Dieu qui record tout. Bien sûr, Dieu a vu mon effort, il a vu mon cœur, il a vu euh, ma, euh, ma dédication. Et il m'a donné cette force. Amen. Donc c'est pour ça qu'il faut être, être, venir à l'étude biblique. Apprendre ensemble, étudier ensemble, et c'est ainsi que nous pouvons croître spirituellement. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. that uh, you know, it has to do with also your your love thermometer, Amen. your love thermometer for your God. Amen. You know, just like you love your spouse, how much do you love your your wife or you love your husband? Is a love thermometer. You cannot commit to something you do not love with your whole heart. I believe Amen. somebody talked about the deep love. Yes, it, the, the, that, that, that's what will propel your faithfulness. That's what will propel your commitment. When you see that you're not being committed or you're not being faithful in the little, is in the Bible. He says, when you're faithful in the little, then God will give you more. When you ever see, oh my God, I don't think I'm being that faithful or that commitment, then there is something, your love, Thermometer for God is dropping. It's Amen. time now to go back. Mm. I said, Lord, please help me increase the love I have for you. Because when you love, you will commit to something you love. Amen. Amen. Ça, c'est un thermomètre d'amour. On a un thermomètre d'amour. Combien tu aimes ton mari? Combien aimes-tu ta femme? C'est un thermomètre d'amour. Combien tu aimes Dieu? Si tu aimes Dieu, tu vas être dédié. Mais si tu vois que ton dédiement n'est pas où ça doit être. C'est le temps de retourner voir que ton thermomètre d'amour a vraiment chuté. On est dormanté. Amen. It's the matter of the heart. Amen. It's the matter of the heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now that we, we've talked about that and I'm looking at our time, thank God this is just the beginning. Get ready, get ready. Amen. Uh, this is a great teaching. I want us to talk about, just tell me one thing you know, or you have read, or even heard, you know, somebody have said it about David that have inspired you. Now we've talked about his um, characters, uh, his traits. Is there something, there is something um, that you can share about David that have uh, inspired your work with the Lord? It could be what you just mentioned or what somebody else have just mentioned, but Personally, how has it contributed to you as a believer <coughs> and to you as a Christian worker? Because when the Bible says we are saved, sir, if you're not serving, then it's time. And that's why Bible study is it. If you're not serving in any capacity in the church, from this theme, talk to the pastor. Talk to, we have now, we have pastors. I'm here. Pastor Helen is 
there's other people. Talk to us. I'm ready to serve. I'm ready to be that man after God's heart. Amen. Okay. So this question, I want to reiterate. Tell, tell us something, not me actually. Tell us something you know, or you have read in the scripture, or you have heard about it, about David, that have inspired you in your walk with God, or is inspiring you as you're hearing it now. Amen. That is inspiring you to do in, in service. Amen. Amen. J'ai une question. Euh, Dites-nous quelque chose que tu as appris, peut-être aujourd'hui à propos de David, ou bien que tu as entendu à propos de David. Il t'a inspiré. Quand la Bible dit nous sommes sauvés pour servir. Alléluia. Et si tu ne sers pas en ce moment, parce que est là, moi je suis là. Venez nous voir et nous parler. Dites-nous une chose qui vous a inspiré dans les attitudes, dans le caractère, dans la vie de David, qui t'a inspiré pour ta marche aujourd'hui avec Dieu. Amen. All right, so I'm going to start typing. Mama Susan said, David had the trust in God. So how did that inspire her in her? So I want to hear a personal, it's like a personal testimony, but okay. in one line or in one word. How did that trust in the Lord inspire her whole work and Comment, faithful and commitment to God? Comment cette confiance en Dieu t'a inspiré? Je veux une ligne de témoignage. Comment ça t'a inspiré? Pour ta marche avec Dieu. How did it? How did it uh, inspire? What did it contribute? How did that shift came? And you know what is it all about? Okay, ça à propos de quoi? Ok, Dieu prend soin de nous. Et cette confiance de David, David savait quelle que soit la soif. Uh, en tout cas, cette confiance en Dieu. Et His trust in God. Et moi personnellement, je ne désespère pas des situations. J'essaie vraiment de faire confiance en Dieu parce que je sais que il va toujours agir. He help me to not get desperate in front of whatever situation I'm facing because I know God will come through. Amen. Amen. That's a, a wonderful testimony. Amen. Desperate, right? You said. Yes. Desperate. Okay. Trois in God desperate in any situation. Because she knows God will come through. Amen. That's that's a wonderful testament. So the trust, like David, we can say it. David trusted in the Lord, and our sister is saying, having read the scripture, she also walked in that path that to trust the Lord. So David has inspired our sister not to be not to get desperate in situation, Amen. but to trust the Lord to turn it around. Amen. 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 Enseigner notre soeur que, en fait, la confiance en Dieu, il ne faut pas être désespéré car Dieu va toujours te venir en aide, quoi que soit la situation. Amen. Amen. I will say the commitment. Mm -hmm. every, every Saturday, we, we go to the church to clean the church, the bathroom, everything. Wow. Oh, wow. You know, that's one of the, the <laughs> that's actually one of the departments that God looks at with a tender heart because it's a department that nobody, when you talk about humbleness, humility, that's a department that no one wants to go to. Mm. When you come to church, I will tell you department that is way exalt exalted and it's a good department. I'm, I'm in it also. It's praise and worship department. That's where people want to go to. Another uh, department that is uh, way exalted there is a prayer band. Prayer band are those people that come every Sunday. If our church starts at two, they are already there at 1.30. They are praying, Lord, give us a miracle. God, change the life of people. Those are another department that God looks you know, there that is exalted that people want to run to. But when you come to the bathroom, and when you come to the kitchen, is you find few people. I started in that bathroom. When I started in LFA Chapel, 
I, you know, me and my, my pastor's wife, Pastor Grace, I came one day, I'm looking at her. I came in the church. Everybody was sitting down. I'm like, where is she? I went to pee in the bathroom. Look who was scrubbing the bathroom. I'm like, what? What are you doing here? He said, nobody, people will make schedule. The pastor's wife scrubbing. They're, who the heck am I? That I will come to church and I will sit down and I won't go and scrub the bathroom. I said, please put me. If you can put me one Sunday, put me because I'm already in the kitchen cooking. So what I will do, I will try and I will come early. I will put on my gloves. I will bring my, my bleach. I will first, I will bleach everything because I don't want no smell. I will bleach it out and I will leave and I will come back and I'll put on my gloves and I will scrub, oh. you know, from scrubbing it because I am there. And let me tell you, uh, now I'm not boasting, but I will tell you, I'm a very elegant person, very elegant. And when you come to fashion, I'm in it, okay? Nice. But to see me with all my, I don't come outside looking crazy. I come outside looking very well. And it started from when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But when people now see, oh, wait a minute, this woman can even go to the bathroom. What the heck? I started bringing two clothes. When I come, I change or I bring apron and I clean it. It doesn't take me anything. I finish cleaning it and I join the praise and worship. Amen. So what am I saying? Pastor, I'm going too long. You don't have to say it all, but just pick it back. Find something. There is no work in God that is too much. <laughs> Amen. If Jesus, Amen. Man, if Jesus, the son of God, rather can leave his abode where everything is. Remember, he, they created. He says that when they created, who are they? Jesus was in it. Holy Spirit and God. He Amen. left it all. And he came to this thinking world. He came to live in one, two rooms. Who am I not to find the place that people run? You can be in prayer and work. You can still clean bathroom. You can be in prayer band. You can still clean bathroom. You can be in evangelism group. You can still clean bathroom. You can Amen. be in the kitchen. You can still, why am I hammering this? We are talking about a topic that says a man after God's heart. Amen. Humility. Amen. Toto Vincent a parlé de dédiement. Amen. On va à l'église pour aller euh, nettoyer, nettoyer les toilettes. Et Pasteur a dit que les gens voient les groupes qui font les louanges, les groupes qui prient. Mais ce n'est pas parce que tu fais des louanges et que tu pries, tu ne peux pas aller nettoyer les toilettes. Un jour à l'église, elle a dit, passe pas, nettoyer les toilettes. Elle a dit, qu'est-ce que tu fais ici Moi, ouais, il n'y a personne qui nettoie. Elle a dit, non, 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 tu me mets dans l'horaire. Je suis dans la cuisine, mais un jour, un dimanche, je vais nettoyer les toilettes. Et vous me connaissez, je suis propre, j'aime m'habiller, j'aime la, la mode. Mais je change les habits, je nettoie les toilettes. Et après, je change. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'on parle On parle de l'homme après le cœur de Dieu, l'humilité et le dédiement. Amen. 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 Alléluia, Brother Vincent, thank you for that testimony. And Amen. this is the father of the house, Brother Vincent. That's the père de la maison qui va and he, and he comes every Saturday to clean. Amen. Okay, so we, we have Amen. a schedule. We have a schedule with the other church that goes there. So those are our schedule. So what am I saying? I, I wish everybody in Holy Care is in this Bible study for us Amen. to be in a place where God will say, this woman, this man is after my heart. Amen. You have to, you have to know in details what it takes him. It's not just by mouth. It's by that commitment. It's by that service. It's by that trust. It's by that love that we all mention. So for us, it's gingering us in this period. After this topic, there should be no person in holy care that worship with us that will not have an assignment. Amen. Après ceci, il n'y aura personne à Holy Care qui n'aura pas un devoir à faire. Ça nous montre comment Amen. être une femme et un homme après le cœur de Dieu. Amen. Papa Louis has a comment. Amen. Amen. Number three. Dans 2 Samuel 12. In 2 Samuel 12. Mm -hmm. Et verset 13. Verse 13. Uh, 
Je dis ça. Il se connaît, oui, 2 Samuel, tout Samuel, 12, 13. 12, 12, verset 13. Go ahead. David dit à Nathan. 12, 13, il dit. C'est comme Samuel 12, verset 13. Ok. David. Allez-y. David dit à Nathan. J'ai péché contre l'Éternel. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Et Nathan dit à David, l'Éternel pardonne ton péché et tu ne mourras plus. Nathan Donc, replied, the Lord has taken away your sin, you are not going to die. Donc, immédiatement, quand Nathan a parlé de ce qu'il avait fait, il n'a pas hésité. Il a répondu directement. Et le Seigneur a donné directement la réponse que je pardonne tes péchés et tu ne mourras pas. Right away, after Nathan pointed his sin, David acknowledged it, and then because of that, God said, I take your sin away, you will not die. Dans ma vie, In my life, je suis tout le monde pécheur. I know everyone has sin, everyone Mais has sin. C'est un signe vraiment qui nous, nous permet d'être toujours à, à l'écoute de l'éternel parce que dès que nous tombons, nous le reconnaissons et Dieu nous pardonne immédiatement. In my life, I've learned to be listen to the Lord so that when I fall, I recognize my sin and I confess so God can forgive me. Amen. Amen. Okay, so his personal testimony is the scripture that says, Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Amen. That's what he's saying. Ce que vous dites, que, ce que David a dit, je caché ta parole dans mon cœur. Ainsi, je ne veux pas pécher contre toi. Amen. 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 That's, 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 that's David, actually, there. Yes. David is familiar with God's word, and that pushed David to always confess his sin. Amen. Confess his sin. Amen. Alléluia. C'est ce péché. Amen. Amen. I want I want to open up to you that uh, this month, uh, myself and Pastor Helen, we've been um, having meetings. We've been having uh, prayer meditation. Um, we'll be calling um, some of our brethren. Um, actually, we're going to expand it to everyone um, with this topic. We Amen. don't want you to hear this topic and still come to church and sing uh, praises and go home the same. We Amen. want you to begin to exercise your gift in being humble, in being committed and faithful servant. Um, some yes. of us, some of our members, uh, we will affirm, affirm you, affirm your position, and some of you will bring you into a new position. But Amen. it's going to be a process, and all the, those positions is process, is teaching, is um, counseling, And it's a tall order, and I'm opening it up because we have come to the end of our Bible study, and we are asking for your prayers. Um, mm. It's not an easy job to do, but myself and Pastor Helen, we are committed to your soul. We are committed to um, the uh, calling of God, and that's why it's good to have pastors over your, your life that you are accountable So for you guys that the Lord has put in holy care, we are accountable and you are also accountable. Amen. Um, Amen. We are accountable to you. That means we are following up with your spiritual life and also your physical life. We are following up with the gift that we have seen in you that will be confirmed also by you as you begin to serve. We are not Amen. letting anyone, we are not letting anyone sit at ease And because the Lord will ask us, I, yes. put, I put this brother and I put this sister 
What did you do? Mm. This mm. sister and with this brother. And then mm. me and Pastor Helen will be like, oh yes, so, 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 so time. We did this. We told this. We encouraged mm. this. Then mm. whatever comes out in it, mm. we are accountable. We have put our record and we have placed it. And that's our job to right. nurture you. Mm. Um, like I said yes. before, Pastor, you can just pick a little bit because this is what we have talked about. Um, you know, mm. like I said before, you can be um, a bank manager somewhere. You can be whatever you are. But as long as when it comes to the kingdom, we are all children, including myself, including me, mm -hmm. including Pastor Helen. So Man. when we come to you, we're not coming to you because we know it all. We are coming to you because God has placed us in that position to harness the gift that he has given you and to point you to the right direction. As Amen. God Our nous prions, nous voulons vous nourrir. Parce que nous avons compte à rendre à Dieu pour vos vies et vos dons. Et vous aussi, vous avez compte à rendre à Dieu pour ce que Dieu vous a donné comme don. Nous ne voulons pas que vous vous asseyez à l'aise sans rien faire dans les champs. On est dans les champs. Tout le monde doit mm -hmm. mettre ses dons au travail. Donc, nous allons mm -hmm. vous appeler une personne par une personne. Nous allons nous commencer, nous allons commencer à prier. Nous continuons à prier. Que Dieu nous guide et nous dirige. Ainsi, vous pouvez mettre vos dons un exercice pour les royaumes. Parce que dans les royaumes, nous sommes tous les enfants. Il n'y a pas de managers de banque. Non, tous nous sommes là pour apprendre. Donc nous allons venir vers vous et nous voulons vous activer vos dons. Amen. 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 All right. I think we come to the end, but I do have an assignment for all of us, including me. Uh, and that will take you to read the scriptures also. Rendez-vous pour tous. Amen. Yeah. So mm -hmm. tell us what you know about the weaknesses and failures. I think two people have already brought it up. So <laughs> let's go back. Uh huh. Uh, you guys jump my lesson, but that's good. That's what Holy Spirit does. So mm -hmm. tell us. I'll change that word. It's not tell me. Tell us. Uh, share a story. It could be one word, two word, two lines of David' weaknesses, and his failures and his weaknesses. We already mm -hmm. know it study it in depth so that when we come, that will be our first thing that we'll talk about, the weaknesses and failures of David. Okay? Nous allons parler des faiblesses et des défaillances de David la prochaine fois. À chacun de vous, un devoir, chercher quelles sont les faiblesses et les défaites des uh, défaillances de David. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Right. I will stop sharing. I'm putting it up in case if they want to write. Write it down. Écrire, so, là. Share, share yes. what you know. Share what you know about David' yes. weaknesses and, and, and failures. Um, Amen. Share. Amen. Don't put, tell me, please, it's not me. Tell us. Share the weaknesses. Partager yes. avec nous tous. Amen. 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 All right, Pastor. Hand over. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our sister Gloria, our evangelist in the making. Our evangelist in the making. Amen. 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 To uh, conclude our prayer. Amen. Amen. Sister Gloria. Amen. Um, um, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness. I... I cannot, I don't even know how to put it in words, but you've seen our hearts. We thank you. Thank we you. thank you because we need to grow. Amen. What our pastors have taught us, Amen. it's so big, it's so edifying, it's so, it's an eye-opening. But I pray that we will apply it to our lives. We Amen. will just not hear it, Jesus. but we will hear it and apply it to our lives yes. so that we will be good and stand and be a blessing to other people yeah. because there are people looking up to us. Yes. And for every family that is in this platform, that you touch mm -hmm. each and every one of us, mm -hmm. not just us, but us with our own family, with our children, yeah, yes, with Lord. our friends. Our life yeah. will be a blessing. Yes, it is Lord. well with us. We are yes. blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. We in the blood of Jesus. Blood we thank you bless you. In Jesus' name, we've prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Amen.